Hello everybody, welcome back once more to Lucid9. I'm the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Yuna Young. And I'm TV New. And we are... Someone's talking to us after someone was murdered, and, and things are... Who is it? Who is this person? I turn around apathetically. A stocky boy is standing before me, fist clenched. We do... Uh, we, I mean, I not, might not know this guy. Oh, wasn't this the guy who was talking with Yuhiko this morning? Yeah, you. And you are? Haru Bunya. Never heard of you. I try to walk past him, but he refuses to move. I'm a friend of Shoji. I stop cold at that. I was there when you said those words to him. What do you want me to do? Apologize? I, honestly, we probably should. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, granted, we didn't know the full situation at the time, but now we should probably be like, hey, I am so sorry. <laughs> Did not know that that was gonna fucking, yeah. <laughs> That would be a good place to start, yeah. Guilt and anger intertwine in the pit of my stomach. We didn't know she was dead then. You mocked him for worrying while she was being murdered. Have you seen the average high school relate? Have you seen them? How can you be their, their judge without knowing anything about them? Is that any excuse to pick on Rui or Wand on Wanda? What about spreading fake rumors? Look, you're not the only one at fault. But would you be would you be saying the same thing if you found out the girl you love was murdered in cold blood? The words hit harder because yes, indeed, I've thought of that myself. I'm sorry. Don't say that to me. Without warning, he grabs my school tablet straight out of my hands. I'm too stunned to even stop him. He then taps something on the notes section. Ten digits, bold and clean, cut on the screen. A phone number. Say that to him. He hands me back my tablet before striding out of the classroom, leaving me shaken. I immediately head to the rooftop to get some fresh air. Haru's words echo and re-echo in my skull with every step. Your fault. She's dead. Too late. I shove them out as fast as... I shove them out as I burst through the door. It's always like perpetually golden hour up here. Yeah. Yeah. I nearly rush into a face full of plants in my haste. The sunlight angrily cuts into my eyes as I slump on the nearest bench, breathing deeply through my nose. I just need some rest. Some silence. Some... Eek, watch out. I, I don't know who that is. I jerk upright as a giant monster of fluffy fabric plummets through the air, pel pelting the space where my head was just moments ago. Suddenly a very large, warm weight plops squarely on my lap and I feel a tickle of velvety hair against my cheek. It's the alien. In the space of ten seconds, I'm somehow I somehow acquired an Akari Karigubi sitting on the edge of my knees, hands braced against my shoulders, nose just an inch from mine. I don't even have the time to be embarrassed. As quickly as she landed on me, Akari jumps off away, flushing a brilliant red. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Yama. I didn't mean. A response tumbles out of my mouth before I have time to think. What? It's fine. <laughs> but, but, but it's so... It's fine, really. Akira buries her face in her hand. No, she doesn't. Thoroughly mortified, I seize the moment to glance around trying to figure out what just happened. The fabric beside me seems to be a pile of costumes. Silks and satins in rich colors, meticulously embroidered, and white lace are just some of the materials that catch my eye. It's an enormous pile. I can't believe that she was trying to carry it by herself. These for the drama club? Y yes, we're having dress rehearsal for an impromptu show after school. You should come. Come and give your undying support to... to Rui. I've never seen, him in her, seen her in such a strange mood before. Akira may be Akira, but something seems to be bothering her intensely. Maybe I should ask her about it. Should we ask her, or should we never mind? We should ask her. Probably, yeah. Let's try to be a good person. Say, is everything okay? Uh, of course. Everything is greater than gravy, brighter than rain, peachier than the peachiest peach poacher who possibly poached a plethora of peaches. Okay, good on you. <laughs> Maybe we wow. should not have asked. <laughs> yeah, 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 something's definitely suspicious. It almost feels like she's trying too hard. You sure? Mm. My, you've gotten quite observant, haven't you? She shuffles backwards, clasping her hands together. The truth is... Someone's dead. Uh, I'm nervous. I relax. Well, that was anticlimactic. 
Nervous for... Mm, Isamu is about to explode in 30 seconds if I can't disarm the bomb in time. Okay. <laughs> mm. Then why are you wasting time here? Oh, Admiral, you have no sense of humor. On the contrary, you should have played along. Her shoulders loosen from the prior tension as she releases a tiny giggle. <laughs> you strike a fair point. Very well, I admit it. I, Akira Kurabe, veteran of the drama club, am nervous for a little impromptu performance. Oh, the shame, the dishonor, the... Isn't it just your second year in the drama club? Huh? Anyone would get stage fright. Even lifelong actors get stage fright. All you can do is practice. Practice? Yeah, we're talking about practice. Why, I dare say practice? that's a great idea. Practice? <laughs> I mean, she's doing it all the time. I mean, we're talking about practice. <laughs> I feel like no one else is getting that reference. No. Of course it is. Maybe we can stop talking about practice and start talking about the playoffs. God damn it. Why don't you guys watch sports? So, so. want to be my partner? Uh, what? This is probably the last thing I'm in the mood for. No. Eh? I didn't even tell you what to do. Well, what do I need to do? You just need to stand there like a candle on a stick. No. Admiral Meanie Head. Just ask Rui. I should. That's an unusual response. You don't want to? It's not the question of wanting to. Then what's the question? On the contrary, what is the answer? What? The question doesn't matter so long as you have the answer. 42 then. <laughs> you can find the answer if you have the right question. You can also find the question if you have the right answer. 42. Purple. Eh? You just, I just gave you an answer. What's the question? Eh? Oh, you're a sneaky one, Admiral Mimi Head. And you're insane. I see I've underestimated you. I can't help but chuckle that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, will you help a comrade in need? I want to say yes, but I decide to play around a little more. Maybe. There is no middle ground. Choose to stay which side you take. I recommend you choose wisely. Then no. Eh? Please? Fine. Really? No. Yes. <laughs> I don't trust you. Why? I said fine. Any man who is so quick to change his mind should not be trusted. I didn't change it that I don't blame her. Something about being around Akira makes me whimsical. Maybe she's rubbing off on me. Regardless, I slap my hands on my chest and salute and bow. I swear I'll be your practice partner for this lunch period. Satisfied? Swear upon the grape of protein shakes and the molasses and we have a deal. What? Oh, protein shakes? No, I shouldn't even be surprised at this point. I solemnly swear, swear upon the grave of protein and molasses. Is protein shakes. Protein shakes and molasses. Of that I'll be your practice partner for this lunch period. I accept this oath and bind it to... You know, it, time's running out. If we're going to practice, we should do it now. <laughs> Party pooper. Akira clears her throat and steps away, closing her eyes. Despite myself, I feel a rush of excitement. This is just like when Rui and I played make-believe. Akira suddenly whipped around, flinging an arm towards me, her entire posture thrumming with power. I see you have finally arrived, Sacred Star Flame. Truly, it is perfect timing. You get a front row seat to the mass zombification of your people. What? Sacred... What? Starflame? What kind of character would that be? Not today, uh... Shadow Bell? I shall pur purify your soul and then purify the planet. We shall see. First, you must proceed through me. O spirits of the cosmos, bond with the summons of the abyss and heed my call. Expatriate this world. Akira's lungs for a lot lunges for the pile of fabrics on the bench, withdrawing a long, narrow paintbrush out of nowhere. What kind of practice is this? Activate Orion Microcell Abolishment Prototype <laughs> 14. 14. I was like, what is that number? Wait a second. She twirls the oh. thing. Well, I missed it. Sorry. Oh, how could you do that? Am <laughs> I what am I supposed to do now? I don't know what it was. Oh god! He just keeps going! <laughs> I glance around for something to <laughs> match her paintbrush, but find nothing other than a hand shovel. I pick it up with two hands, making it making making it as if it's heavy. 
Angels of light and flyers of freedom, bestow me with your blessings and don me with fitting arms to combat your mortal enemy. Light spear at initiative. I swivel the shovel around my head, weighing it like some kind of giant ha waving it like weighing it like some kind of giant halberd. She seems to understand. You are stronger than I expected. It appears that just one blow from your cursed weapon shall wipe me from existence. Of course, you'll have to hit me first. We're gonna bonk her so hard. <laughs> she catches in, jabbing the paintbrush at my side. I fling myself away, swinging my shovel towards her, but she nimbly we're swinging a shovel at someone. Yeah. She nimbly drops to the ground. I take a second for recovery, which she seizes to land a, a solid poke on my shin. Ow. I'll bite your kneecaps. <laughs> Come back and fight! I'll butt your legs off! <laughs> she pulls away. I swing the halberd straight for her skull, but she leaps with cat-like grace, thrusting her rapier straight to my heart. I immediately parry the tip with my hilt. Driving... I don't know that a halberd has a hilt. Driving the edge towards her, but she easily disengages. I think it's just a, 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 a handle. Truly your name as a being of power is justified, Sacred Starflame. As is yours as being of corruption, Shadow Bell. I'll take that as a compliment. She stabs again. This time I'm ready. I catch the rapier and twist it, sending it spiraling out of her grasp. Ah! Give up, Shadow Bell. Justice demands retribution. Well, that's unfortunate because it sure won't be getting any. She flips back. Ugh, she backflips upon the nearest bench absently. I'm impressed at her agility and raises a hand to the sky. Power of the sea and stretch of the sky, intertwine a formless void and enrich this humble vessel with the glory of your eternal wrath. Could this be a finishing blow? I sign you unto the crimson depths of craven oaths and relieve you of the ancient constraints. Millennial Acre Crescent Destruction! She flips to the ground and lands in a somersault, crashing her fist to the ground. I fly back, crumbling against the nearby nearest tree. Arrgh! She recovers her rapier, pointing it at my throat. Any last words? I tighten my grip on my halberd, willing all my all strength to my arms. Purple! <laughs> Not yet. I slam my foot against the hilt of her rapier, turning it to the side as I roll away. As she stumbles for balance, I swing my halberd clean at her neck. She barely dodges in time. We nearly took someone's head off with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're attacking us with like a foam paintbrush or something. We have a weapon. Yeah, <laughs> a clever trick. I'll be sure to relate that to the high order. Oh, I tire of your paltry existence. You are like an incessant, irritating insect that means nothing to me. You are dirt beneath my shoe, a pebble in my ocean, a speck of dust on. I swing my halberd at her and chop her head off. Eh? Admiral for, Meanie Head. For half a second, I was like, did we casually kill someone? Because we probably could. Yes. You interrupted me. You were monologuing. I was subverting expected dramaticisms. If I had an audience, they probably would have laughed. But overly long monologues are the best part of being a villain. I break into laughter as I return the shovel to its rightful place. Maybe so, but they're useless. The villain is leaving himself vulnerable for way longer than he should. I hear a flick fixes her eyes on me for a moment, a small, affectionate smile curling at her lips. Yeah, I guess you're right. Her light giggle emphasizes the flush in her cheeks. I realize that the heaviness in my mind has completely dissipated. Hey, Akira. Thanks. What for? The fun. It was crazy, of course, but fun. I'm glad. She suddenly wraps her arms around her body, looking intensely vulnerable. Oh, no. What? I, I shouldn't have. Suddenly, she scoops up the pile of fabric and races to the door. I is that the bell? Why, I do declare that's the bell. Goodbye, Admiral. Without another word, she kicks the door open and races down the stairs. It slams behind her, leaving me alone on the rooftop. That happened. Yep. All right. So All she right. has a crush on us, right? Yeah, she definitely has a crush on us. Yeah. For sure. And again, who doesn't have a yeah. crush on us? We're the protagonist in a harem yeah. game. <laughs> I don't know if this is... Is this technically a harem game? Kind of. Mm. It's definitely, it's definitely got dating sim elements. I head back to my classroom in total bewilderment. Why does Akira have to operate without rhyme or reason? She was completely fine up until the very end. Then out of the blue, she just snapped. Either way, I did have fun. Akira's antics really cleared my mind. 
I just wonder why she's acting so strangely. Uh -huh. Really? We're an idiot. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I make it to my seat right as the bell rings, hailing another period of gossip-ridden classes. Surprisingly, the PA clicks on, and a special video announcement by the principal is streamed to our whiteboard. We don't have a whiteboard. <laughs> Who is the principal? Uh, I don't know mm. if we had one. I was the mayor. You were the mayor. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, students. As you are well aware, we have found ourselves in a most tragic and bewildering turn of events. We request that throughout the following circumstances, you remain calm. Rest assured that, above all else, the Academy prioritizes your safety. Bullshit! The first matter, we empathetically request that you refrain from any communications with the media. Our faculty and partners are diligently working to solve the matter at hand and will deal with any questions aimed their way. Secondly, classes will continue as scheduled. Please do not neglect your studies. Special security is employed to keep you safe. Thirdly, in order to best ensure your security, curfew has been moved from 11.30 to p.m. to 7 p.m. Please consider this timekeeping when you make plans. Try to refrain from being out of the school when alone. I expect groans from the student body, but there are none. People must be really scared. What, it, what I find interesting is the implementation of a harsher curfew when all the disappearances have been taking place inside campus after curfew. Maybe they're just trying to hide the truth. Please keep this security measure in mind as you plan your day. In accommodation, the dormitory, recreation rooms, exercise rooms, and practice rooms will be open for 24 hours. Off-campus students are strongly advised to adhere to similar guidelines. Thank you for your patience. The video shuts off, leaving the classroom in silence. Our teacher rises to the front of the room, visibly shaken. Okay, so I guess they're, like, extending hours for facilities. That way people at least stay in the campus. Yeah. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Who was the teacher? I think that was Chips. Yeah, that okay. was me. Well, that was, uh, very informative. Let's continue. You're right, teacher. It was information. I glance over at Yehiko. His face is completely blank, but I can see his knuckles turning white against his desk. Unfortunately, right as I attempt to start a conversation, the teacher calls on me. I guess we don't get to know what we, what we said in that regard. By the time I remember my original intention, school's already ended. Ego bolts from his seat immediately after dismissal, barely sparing me a second glance. Even Elizabeth splits from her groupies before I can catch her. I spend a few moments still and silent in my chair. Alone. Completely alone. Alone. Have you seen Beth? Oh. <laughs> no, that is not the that, voice for that. Me. I that's me. Have you seen Beth? <laughs> I jerk upright and come face to face with Natsuki Tanaka, the bitch. She's smiling, standing upright in her pristine, neatly ironed academy uniform. Her eyes bright and clean and nothing like the girl I met the previous night. I feel a curdle of disgust in the pit of my stomach. Disgust, and if I'm honest with myself, a tinge of fear. You just missed her, but you probably already knew that. And if I did? Then I would assume that you wanted to talk to me. Why would I want to do that? You're the one with all the answers. <laughs> Uh, she giggles slightly behind her... Slightly... She giggles slightly behind her hand... Oh. The fact that they don't, like, actually show them, like, moving in certain ways kind of throws me off sometimes. I get the sickening feeling that she's enjoying this. If, perchance, you see Beth, do give her my regards. Why don't you tell her yourself? I wonder. She turns on her heel and drifts away with another word. Without another word, I clench my hands against the desk, fighting to keep my anger down. She's aggravating. She's insane. She's undefeatable. Hmm. I roughly grab my backpack and exit the school, looking to clear my head again. And we'll. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're wandering the streets, but we'll we'll have to wander the streets next time. Bye bye. Bye. bye.
Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!